Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about importing another catalog into the catalog you're currently using or combining catalogs together. Now if you don't understand catalogs then it would be good to watch the training on catalogs in Lightroom but the fact of the matter is is you can only have one catalog open at a time in Lightroom and there really is no reason for you to have multiple catalogs unless you are shooting so many shoots that um, it becomes a benefit for you to have a catalog for every year. And if that's not the case, then it's, then it's fine just to have one catalog with all of your images in it. And the benefit of having one catalog is all of your images become searchable and become available at your fingertips whenever you want to have them. And so let's go to my desktop. I created this import catalog right here just for this video and uh, all I did was drag the images that were in this import folder into the import catalog and I saved it on the desktop. So you'll notice that I have the catalog as well as the preview data so my new catalog will not have to rebuild um, those previews it will pull them over. And so you may think that you can just grab here and drag it onto Lightroom and it'll suck it in but it won't because it's thinking that this is images. It's thinking we're want, wanting to combine images. So what we have to do is we have to go to uh, File, Import from another catalog. And then let's navigate to where that catalog is. It's my import, oh, excuse me, it's my import catalog. And there it is right there. So if I click on it and then hit Choose, it will bring up this dialog box and I created just some folders inside of Lightroom called 1, 2, 3, and 4 so that you could see that we have a total inside of each folder as well as a total of all of the uh, images together. And so I could choose to import only certain catalogs or I can choose to import all of them. And these, and these folders could say things like, you know, a family shooter, a bridal shooter, an engagement shooter, what have you. But for me, they just say one, two, three, and four. Now, I could actually see what's inside this catalog by clicking on the show preview button, and it will show me which images are inside of each of these folders so I could make a more educated decision. I could also make this dialog box as large as I want, and I could make the thumbnails larger. So I could begin to really choose which images I want to import and which I don't want to import. When you are combining catalogs, generally you want to bring all of your images over. And so just leaving that uh, selected, selecting all of them is, is a great way to do that. Our first option we have down here is our file handling. What this would do is this would add the new fo photos to the catalog without moving them. So it would leave them where they are currently located or I can copy them to the new location, or I can just simply say don't import. But if I was gonna say don't import, why am I even here, right? So I would choose to copy them because I wanna keep how I'm organized the same way. And you'll notice that it defaulted to my pictures folder, and that's not where I want them to go. I want them to be in my desktop, on my desktop in my originals folder. That's where I want them to be. So I'll hit choose. And what's going to happen is it's going to put them exactly matching these, these folder names here once I get those selected. And, and so when I have this selected, I can go ahead and click import and it will bring them all in. But there's one more section here that we haven't talked about. So if there were duplicates, it would ask us what to do with them because maybe the same image is already in my catalog and I've edited it a certain way. Um, and if I bring it in the new version, it's gonna overwrite what I've done. You can choose how you want it to replace um, those images, or if you just wanna have it make the new, or excuse me, the old settings as a virtual copy so that you have both versions. And so this one will be, um, I would be able to make selections here if it recognized that there were um, duplicate images found. So let me click on import and you'll see it start to import them in. 
Okay, I've got an import catalog right here, an import folder, and I've got my one, two, three, and four. And I can click on import and I see it, or I just click on one, two, three, and four. And so that's how they brought it, it brought them in. Now, I can move these by simply dragging and putting them in a new location. So this is basically telling me that it's going to move the files on my disk as well. And I'm going to say don't show it again because I understand that. So now I have it in my Lightroom Hero. I could do the same thing here. Put that there. I could do the same thing here. I could do the same thing here. So now they are all in the Lightroom Hero folder. I could right click on this import folder and click remove. And now I no longer have it and everything is in my Lightroom Hero folder. So if I go to my desktop, I open up my originals, I look inside my Lightroom Hero folder, here are those folders that I've imported with the images inside of them. And so that's how you would import uh, one catalog into another catalog and still stay organized.